guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. Kurt here, and this is the spring bar tool from BobLabs.com. Robert Isaac over at Bob Labs sent me this spring bar tool and um, for me to review, and I'm glad he did because I really like it. And I tried to not like it. I actually tried. When I get things from companies, I actually try to not like it. I look for the faults. I look for things that I didn't like about it. And, um, you know, all things considered, I I couldn't find any. So let's just talk about it. Um, it's $49, including shipping within the within the United States, and an additional $14 for shipping international. So what, what makes it different? Well, first of all, it's handmade using 6061-T6 aircraft grade aluminum. The mill spec O-rings around here are semi-recessed and exist to provide grip to provide to provide grip. Secondly, it's looks. It doesn't look like any other spring bar, at least not that I've seen. To me, well, look at these, look at these things. At least to me, uh, it kind of gives a a, a post-war 1950s vibes, kind of like a kind of like a like a mount shop metal everything kind of vibe. I really like it. Look, look at look at the uh, the Burgeon one versus this one. It it does have a much bigger profile. It is nicer in my opinion. Not that the Burgeon one is ugly, but here's it versus like a super cheap Chinese spring bar tool. Now this is a really nice piece. And uh, you know it's bye 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 bye, and uh, <laughs> it has a great feel for my hands. It feels more precise, and I have shaky hands, and this can be quite important if you also has have shaky hands. It it makes it much well, I don't say say much easier, but it does feel easier and more steady versus when you have to hold a small one like this, and you have this edge pro edge protruding out here a little bit more. It's a little bit, it feels a little bit less secure and, and precise. Not that it doesn't work. All spring bar tools work. Uh, it's just that this is more a little bit more elegant. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, it feels really nice. It's lightweight, it looks good. I think it just looks really nice. And that's one of the one of the qualities that makes this spring bar tool just a little bit better than other ones. It is designed to use the Burgeon 6767 series replaceable tips, of which it comes to, it comes with the uh, the uh, spring bar release fork. Can you see it? Mm, you can't see it. Spring bar release fork. Let me just uh, use the button of justice here to zoom in to about 20. There you go. Look at that. Zoom. So it comes with that uh, the fork as well as the, the pin pusher tool. There you go. So yeah, look at that. A little, little close-up action. Yeah, some close-up action with some depth of field in the background super artistic <laughs> and we're gonna go back so uh does it work yes do other lesser spring bar tools work yes but that's not the point of this um this spring bar tool is for the discerning customer who wants a high quality product that's different from everything else um, a customer who appreciates the way tools look feel as well as perform especially on the looks part. <laughs> this spring bar tool is definitely well suited for being an addition to your watch shots on Instagram or other photo venues. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do that. So um, yeah, um, by the way, um, I'll be I'll probably be posting pictures with my watches with this. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Minute Watch for watch photography and other random stuff. So check it out, guys. I'll put a link to it in the about section below. I'll definitely like it and we'll be uh, I'll be using it. So thanks, Bob, or I should say thanks, Isaac, over at bombalabs.com for hooking me up with this beautiful spring bar. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, more shots of it. And uh, yeah. All right, next part. All right, we're going to try this again, guys, using your tips from the last video, which was kind of a fiasco. Uh, I went in on learning to use these uh, quick release spring bars. Uh, without actually even researching anything, so let's, let's just get into it. I'm gonna do it a little bit different this time, and we're gonna use that Bob Labs uh, delicious uh, spring bar to to do this. Right, nice and nice and tidy. Get those spring bars out. Gotta. This spring bar is actually kind of worn down. There you go. Which is an even better idea. So kind of counter counterproductive to make a. Uh, uh, 
a video about a spring bar to when I'm going to be using uh, quick release pins. But you know, you're always going to need a decent spring bar tool. So anyway, get my Hamilton out of the way here and uh, pull out the spring bar there. Pull that one out. So this time we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm actually going to put shove uh, another spring bar to a little cheapy thing that you get with like certain straps and I'm gonna shove it in the hole like this just give it a little shove just put it up just make it your make it your you know not gonna say it <laughs> so that way I can cut it and it's a lot better than sticking other things in my opinion I like to stick things in holes but uh, this one is the, the best one here so rip apart the Barton watch bands spring quick release spring bar uh, spring bars <laughs> and um, yeah I like Barton they send me all kinds of stuff straps and and uh, tools and not, not tools but uh, hardware and stickers and hats and back rubs and cheeseburgers they're good people I like those guys so I'm gonna get my my uh, razor here my little thing here I'm gonna get a razor tool and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it here and uh, get get a good approximation of where I want it and then get to cutting get to cutting so you're gonna want to cut a nice long rectangle and there's a reason for that and that reason is uh, because it makes it easier to get in there and uh, a lot of you have given me tips on how to do this in the last terrible fiasco video uh, I know some of you are like, Kurt, what are you doing? You're such a noob. And it's true. I'm a super noob. I don't, I don't claim to be an expert at any of this stuff. Um, but I am learning every day. Every day I'm watching ring. That was super lame. I'm, I'm a totally lame person. So you just kind of pull it out. Get that uh, that leather out of there. I don't know if you can't. You can't really see the hole here. And, you know, it's, it's totally okay if you don't make it perfect. Uh, because you're not gonna really see that but if you're one of the if you're kind of a little bit OCD you're gonna want to get a, a pointier tip and just kind of just kind of make sure everything gets cut out properly I'm not super OCD but just for just for basically looking good on video words I don't know how to words <sighs> Okay, so I got the hole, and now you just kind of, you just kind of stick it in from the top there, from, not from the side here, but from the top, from the top of the hole. You push it in, you push it all the way in, you push it all the way in, and then like that, you just push it right back. Super easy. So let's uh, let's do the other one, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, we're back, and we're gonna put the the newly quick released. Uh, straps on this Hamilton it's gonna be a glorious beautiful day in the neighborhood and uh, just quick release all the things that one just went on super smoothly and it's gonna quick release all the things here and then boom oh my gosh so easy nice and secure boom so there it is guys that's again how I quick release my any kind straps so uh, yeah yeah looks good Thanks uh, for watching and have a happy peanut. I guess he's not gonna put us in the video. Uh, uh, I guess. Uh, no, well, look, the camera's on, so maybe, if, maybe if we just keep talking, and he will, he will put it in the back end of the video somehow, maybe. Yep. Yep. So, wh wh where did you go? Wh 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 what happened? Where, where did you disappear?
Well, I had to go do some things. See, I got I got involved in some cryptocurrency stuff, and it, it was pretty bad. And um, uh, we got involved in a really bad lending program that that uh, went uh, they, they exited, and then everybody got mad. So I had to go ch help the mafia and chase them down and do some things. It was pretty bad. I had to I had to, I had to go into hiding. Oh yeah 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 yeah. No, I I I, I don't know about cryptocurrency. I bought seventeen bit turtles, and I got uh, you know it's pretty cool. I'm all into it. Bit turtle. Bit turtle was seven cents. I know, but it was six. So I'm up, I'm up.